What a beautiful morning it is. As always, we woke up at 7 a.m., had our breakfast, and now we're full of energy to conquer one last stop before St. Petersburg. It's the village called Mandrage. You know, entire cruise program is organized the way to introduce you to different aspects of the uh, Russian culture. It's singing, dancing, cooking, and, you know, language as well. But in Mandrage, you can see it all together. Actually, before it was a real village, but during the World War II, it was destroyed. So right now it was reconstructed as the real Russian village. Uh, so let's um, have a look around and see, you know, the old Izba. <music> So this is, take a look, this is a Russian izba. Izba means um, house, a village house. So that's how it looks like. The museum complex displays different aspects of Russian folk life. There is a museum of Russian vodka, stable, mini zoo and a quail farm. In the village you can get acquainted with folk crafts such as painting and carving, weaving and pottery, lace making and many many more. This is actually pretty cool. I've seen those in Siberia when I traveled on the Trans-Siberian last year. This is old Russian swing. And you do it this way, you don't see it, but you stand on it. Oh, one second. <laughs> well, actually, I wanted to invite my camera woman. Please join somehow. Horseshoe, and just to explain you another meaning and how we use it, Sergei told me that you wear, uh, you put on the door the horseshoe outside this way so that you say welcome to my home, and you put it inside your house this way so it means that your home is the full bowl. I hope this is the right translation. Um, well, thank you very much. Спасибо. Спасибо. Oh my god, squirrels. Okay, what we are planning to do right now is to slide all the way from there. It's dangerous, I believe, but this American gentleman will show me how to do it. Me, a Russian girl. <laughs> Давай, 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 давай,
So you've seen how fun it was in the village of Mantrigi, but the last thing that I didn't show you is that you can actually try there the Russian piroshki. This is a small pie with a very tasty filling or stuffing, like with meat or sweet stuffing. So I highly recommend you to do that. Uh, we are back, not on the road, but back on the river and sailing to St. Petersburg. Ah. <laughs>